What's up everybody? We have been busy all week, as much as possible. We put our lower deck all down. Everything's hanging off like a little bit. This outer course has been ripped so that we're just one inch basically over the front surface of the beam. Um, and we're gonna ultimately plot out the curve and do that cut too, but I just don't wanna get too crazy right now. It's more important that we make it through putting boards down, getting them out of the driveway, just making sure everything's been applied. And then we can take things back too that we don't need. I have moved to finishing up around the door, and so I wanted to take a look at this here. I did my absolute best to get out to the plane of the existing wall with, uh, with the sheeting that I had to add. A couple pieces in here to close in the corners. As far as framing inside, I ended up making just a couple simple um, braces here. I got a measurement there and a measurement across the top. And something that came in tight here. I'll probably end up shimming this. And then, um, you know, we'll backfill with expanding foam. And that carries that piece of OSB on all three sides. And in the end, when I trim, it gives, not only is this three quarter, given what was on the house for thickness, um, that's already enough to carry the hardware that holds the, the trim on, but hitting a two by four behind it, you know, won't hurt us at all. This nail flange is coming off, it just, this door is extremely plumb. I mean, as you go wider and wider, it's important to be plumb even on like a 30 inch door, but the bigger the door, the bigger the slab, and if you're a little out of plumb, the whole thing falls open or falls shut twists all up when you're trying to run it it's a nightmare it has to be plumb and it just meant that you know we start back here real good and tight but as we stand it up we just get further and further away from the sheathing so it's getting cut off and we're gonna do some real trickery here to make sure that I'm 100% confident to the for the install weatherproof everything but I just have no choice I mean I can't tip the house toward us at all it's not that's not happening over here, we want to let the, the air conditioner breathe, and we just took enough for that for right now. I'm going to come up with a cast iron insert grate for this, and when I know what it is, then we can do a final hole there, and even maybe like a rabbit on it for the so that it sits in flush. And we dialed in our, you know, the surrounding edges for our cast iron piece down here. This notch still needs a round on it, but... And this edge has been trimmed back and rounded where it belongs. I think I'm going to carry the ends, little ends of the deck board right across the edge of the stringer and then I might double this up. Oh yeah, I will. Because to add inch and a half here will get us to the back of the stringer and then we can fill that in. So it's clearer when I come over here and look. Basically copy and make it narrower, but what we did here was add a 2 by 4 to the back of the there's the uh, joist and then the stringer is attached to it, and then I blocked out with a 2x4 to get us to the back of the stringer, and then we can fill in uh, fascia of some kind. And I think we're going to change these. These will stay, and these we're going to move over so that their crack is lined up with this crack, or so that it's right in the middle. That's TBD. This was kind of funky here. Um, we came in with one, two, three, four, five total boards, and it didn't quite work out. We had like a three-quarter rip here. And it was because uh, we had actual five and a half boards, which is how they should be. But in our stack, it gave us trouble somewhere else. Other places where we had five and a halfs and five and five eighths, or vice versa, gave us trouble. So we used it to our advantage here. And we found a board that was five and five eighths hard, if not, you know, five and 13 or something like that, sixteenths. So um, adding those all up with a slightly bigger gap that gets us to the face of this post without having a rip there. So. It was worth rebuilding a little bit just for the sake of a clean look to it, but kind of loving things here. Jeremy's our new guy, but he got his easy up keeping the sun off of our back right now. It's really hot. We got the fan going. Um, I'm trying to close in around the outside of that door, finish all the surfaces of the deck and trim up their edges. And then we're actually going to pivot out of here into a new deck elsewhere because our pergola lumber isn't going to be done at the sawmill. I got the order in early, but he's had a hell of a year and it was uh, his dad was doing the Sawyer work before uh, COVID. Sadly, uh, he passed away due to COVID. So um, Junior's been trying to, to catch up, but basically they're way behind. We don't have pergola lumber, so we'll come back and do the pergola after the next deck project this year. So we'll be here in the fall to finish up, but um, I think it'll be really pretty back here then. 
All right, we'll come back and look when we got to that point. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.